Got some gloves. Don't need them. Blisters on the feet, no socks. Remember that guy? That was weird. Ugh. We haven't given you guys a good update on the farm stuff. We've been doing projects like crazy, like so fast that it's impossible to film, but we're gonna try to film today's project because in theory, it's pretty simple, but it's gonna be pretty interesting, I think. Des, there's a chance that hay might get pretty nasty if the truck starts flinging mud. So we drop it somewhere. We've been building um, like H braces and gates uh, in the rain for the past couple days. It's been really nasty. The weather's been really gross. But um, we realized that in order for our cattle to reach shelter, which is the trees in the very far back lot, and in order for them to get to the back lot, the way that we're doing these paddocks, they're gonna need a bridge. And so I actually happen to have an abandoned trailer that is just about the right size. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drag it across the gully to make a bridge out of it. At least that's the plan. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna go to plan. Nothing ever really does, but uh, we'll see. All the cows are in the barn right now because the field isn't secure anymore. So we've taken down a lot of fencing. So they're happy in here just eating hay. <laughs> Real happy. Your feet? Those blisters? Maybe we should just take the day off. I'm serious. What are you going to do with blisters on your feet? I was just thinking about this. Like, it's going to be hard. Like, not only getting the trailer out there in the clay and the mud, like, it's going to be hard just pitching that trailer in, a, in the position that it's in. Like, even just getting the truck to that spot. In fact, what do we do? Like, are you, you know sure this low? is all like worth it right now? I found it here. It? It's just a matter of it, how we do it. Well, we have to have we have to have a bridge for them, right? It's just I don't know if the truck is the best tool for the job. The skid steer could do it, but I have to do it all in reverse. Guys, I found it here. Got a beetle? Yeah, in, in the chair. Okay, you can bring that chair out with us. Watch out though. We need the nest with beetles. Watch. All right. This is the trailer. Uh, it's got like this metal. Des, I was gonna ask you, should we, before we take it out there, should we undo all these screws and take this metal off? Do you think the cows will slip on that? Mm. I don't think so. It's not going up a hill or anything. Look better if you would, but we could do it later, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I just want to see if we can even get it out there. So I got it chained. I'm going to try to pull it through this little creek here, which I had meant to have a bridge done by now, but it's not going to happen. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that stuff's pokey, That's dude. Poke no, I don't eat this part. It's just nice. All right, so the cows can cross this goalie in the summertime when it's completely dry, but most of the year it's full like this. And we need them to be able to get to those trees, so that's why we're putting in this makeshift bridge. It should span this gap pretty easily. I gotta pull this T post out. And then what that's gonna do is open up this whole field, uh, or this is the field they're using, 
and they'll be able to access this whole backfield now. Okay, so as I pull it, it's going to nose down in unless I can lift up. So I need to like get it strapped to the bucket so that I can lift it up. Probably like... When it drops in, if my bucket's way up high, it'll tip me over. I think Thank this you. is gonna work. Thank you, sir. I will it. Don't touch me, okay? Hopefully, if it goes wrong, we can get it out. I'm worried it's just gonna nose in and be like, well, that was dumb. And then sink in like 20 feet of clay. Wow. in okay and then the whole thing should sit lower once we take that foot up yeah hopefully Ooh. it's hopefully it's low enough for the cows do you think they'll step up on that I mean they got into the barn apartment that's true <laughs> pocket holes so we can do rails yeah so be nice. and it'll be strong enough uh, to drive the Polaris across yeah even the uh, skids here or possibly even a truck yeah what about that stuff all at the right there what? what about all that so this what I plan to do with this is um, cut cut this thing off mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna make a, a dirt ramp that buries all this stuff you know so the dirt goes right up to the top okay Does that work yeah so that way the cows can just walk up I mean it'd be a gradual ramp that went out to where the skids through that you gonna jump off yeah I mean we'll have to beautiful I bet you I could drive the skid steer across it. <laughs> I should. I'm gonna go around and drive up on it. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. Like, but what am I doing? Uh oh. Dude, that 
made a great bridge. Look at that. It took us like an hour. Yeah, but now I can get to the other Genius. Side of that I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for free trailers now because there'd be there's a couple spots where it'd be nice to put the bridges up. But I think we can make it look really nice, don't you? Yeah. It's really cool to have the handles on it and this little foot bridge. Mm -hmm. It's way better than going through all that mud. Yeah, you gotta take that um, take that metal off, then it'll be a nice wooden deck. Yeah. We'll spray. We'll knock all the lights off of it, and we'll spray it all black or something. Mm -hmm. And in the summertime, we'll we'll be able to get down into the gully and take the wheels and tires off. But I actually feel good that the wheels and tires are not in the water. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was gonna kind of feel bad about just letting it rust in there. I mean, this is like habitat for those nutria things, the swamp rats and whatnot. But it's it's not even touching the water. Yeah. That's perfect. Turned out really good. Yeah. Okay, let's go do that. You're gonna, you gonna hang out in the raptor, buddy? Yeah. yeah, we can't go inside right now. We got farm work to do. Follow me. Follow me. Over there, too. Um, stuck into that fence post. We're gonna go out on a little family outing. We're gonna go out on a little family outing in the uh, the thing. It's our box truck RV conversion project. And uh, wow, wow, it's gonna be a project. Gosh, every time I like, I like make plans for it. And I'll think it through in my head, and then I'll get in it, and I'll be like, oh, that's not gonna work. So that's why we're going to take it with us today to see if it's going to work or not. What is that? Oh, 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 it leaks. Come on. If you've been following along, you'll notice that I just hopped in the RV in this episode and you're probably thinking to yourself, wait a second, he gutted that. Okay, so that's that sound that you heard that made Sterling whip around, that was the cabinetry on the inside all falling out to the bottom. So when we looked back, we were like, weird, there's nothing there. But in reality, it was the cabinetry all falling apart due to water damage that had been kind of covered up um, by the previous owner. So it's been a couple weeks since we put the cows back out in the field with the new bridge that we just installed. And this, has, this is the first day we've gotten any of the cows to actually use the bridge. There's Daisy back on this side. Daisy's the one with the white. She's the one that crossed this morning and came back on the bridge. I was hoping I'd, I was gonna grab that long lens and I was gonna get a shot of her or him, him. I was gonna get a shot of him out there. Arms getting tired. Woo, woo. I slammed so hard on a one wheel. You guys will see the video later. I think if I build that dirt berm up, they'll like it a lot more, but I can't get out there with anything. Like the skid steer can get out there, but you can't dig in that clay. It's all just soupy, wet, messy. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you so much for watching my videos and to watch this far means that you're really engaged and really interested and I really, really appreciate that. This video was brought to you guys by Heretic Studio. All their materials are sourced from the United States of America. All of their labor is in the United States. Dave and I at Heretic go way back, uh, all the way back to the first Overland Rally I ever went to and uh, he's a good buddy of mine and I love supporting his company and he supports me on this YouTube channel to allow me to do this and so 
Together, we've worked out a deal for you guys where you can save 10% when you use my discount code, MAX10. It's what I run on all my trucks, and you guys know I'm super, super hard on stuff. And uh, these lights hold up to the abuse, unlike the lights I used before. In my opinion, Heretic Studio Lights is one of the best values you can get out there in the overland off-road world, especially if you use my discount code. So try it out, MAX10, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video, if you enjoyed this type of video, this vlog, this farm stuff. If you want to see more like this, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely need suggestions and guidance from you guys on what you want. And uh, hey, I really, really appreciate it. I also appreciate you guys putting up with the advertisements that are in place. Everything has worked out really strategically to allow us to be able to, to live here and do this lifestyle and bring you guys content. You know, we put a lot of work into it, a lot of hours, there's a lot of expensive equipment. And uh, so I, I just appreciate you guys are willing to, to watch an ad in exchange for a free video. So hey, thanks so much, for real. I wish there was a better way for me to explain it, but I just appreciate it, thank you. Um, so that's it for today's video. Thanks so much, get some work done this week, but don't forget to live, bye.